Scotty, why do you dislike Republicans? I don't dislike Republicans. I just know that in this country, we have a symbol of authority called the crown. And the crown has served us well. Now, journalists don't like me saying this because they haven't researched it. The crown goes back 2,347 years at least. It's an Irish Celtic thing. So it's a little sad that the Irish Celtics don't have a king. They've got a president who I'm sure is very nice. And a Tewsach, a Tewsach. There we are, which who I'm sure is extremely good. But uh, they're missing out on the crown, and there is an Irish crown. And Arthur Griffith, I think it was, who founded Sinn Féin, was a huge monarchist. Yeah? You see, isn't it interesting? You'll get your history from Scotty McClure. So all this anti-crown stuff, uh, there's no need for it. I know there's history. And I understand all about the British governments over the years, but not the crown. Although I suppose the governments and the opposition are formed in the name of the crown. But um, all the dreadful things that the crown has done, there are so many great things that the crown has done. So 2,347 years, Irish Celtic, the crown of Ireland is still about. Um, the monarch, I notice people start attacking, personally attacking members of the royal family. Now, the monarch is the curator and custodian of the crown. The office of king, was queen, um, should be respected. So there we are. And I would never, ever, ever want Scotland that has got such a proud crown and in fact took over the English crown in 1603. I would never want Scotland to be in the hands of dissident republics. So every single nationalist, if you're genuinely interested in independence, follow the crown, get behind the monarchy. And then that's that sorted. And then you can look at the political side for an independent Scotland. And also the unionists can't beat you with. We support the crown. That's how we lost 50% of the vote in 2014. Apart from lies to frighten pensioners.